In Australia, methoxyflurane is a commonly used analgesic drug in ambulance practice, and in over 7 million administrations of Penthrox, there have been no published reports of nephrotoxicity. Methoxyflurane is a highly effective inhalation analgesic agent, with the majority of reported adverse events being mild and transient. Historic high-dose anaesthetic use of methoxyflurane resulted in nephrotoxicity. Methoxyflurane-induced nephrotoxicity is related to total dose, which is time, concentration, and the rate of metabolism. The product of metabolism, inorganic fluoride, results in dose-related nephrotoxicity. Let's crunch some numbers. The therapeutic dose of methoxyflurane is measured by minimum alveolar concentration. MAC per hour. A single 3 ml vial of methoxyflurane is equal to 0.3 MAC per hour dose, and two vials, 6 ml, is equal to 0.59 MAC per hour dose. The upper clinical safety limit of methoxyflurane dosage is less than 2 MAC per hour, and clinical toxicity is said to occur in doses greater than 5 MAC per hour. With the advised maximum dosage for patients being 6 mL per day and a total of 15 mL per week, as administration of consecutive days is not recommended. With these numbers, we can see that even the maximum prescribed analgesic doses are well within the clinical safety limits. This is represented here in the table. Patient safety has been strongly evidenced with lower analgesic doses of methoxyflurane being used in pre-hospital analgesia for over 40 years in Australia. Moreover, it has recently been approved for use in the UK, Republic of Ireland, France, Belgium, and is now approved for use in over 30 countries worldwide. Several studies have found no association of administration of analgesic doses of methoxyflurane and nephrotoxicity. The STOP study was a randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled UK trial that investigated the efficacy and safety of Penthrox for the treatment of acute pain in the emergency department. This study found that Penthrox has no clinically significant effects on vital signs or that no respiratory depression was observed. The majority of adverse events are usually mild and transient. Dizziness and headaches are reported to be the most common. What about occupational exposure? Concentration of methoxyflurane is measured in parts per million, with the maximum exposure level considered to be 15 parts per million. One study looked at the effects from occupational exposure for nurses and doctors involved in minor hospital procedures such as bone marrow biopsy. In this study, the maximum amount of methoxyflurane administered in one day was six vials, equal to 18 mils with the maximum exposure time frame being 240 minutes. This resulted in a median exposure of 0.38 parts per million, which still sits within a tolerable exposure level. It is encouraged that an activated charcoal chamber, or AC, be utilized in order to minimize the amount of methoxyflurane that is made airborne. These AC chambers are available to purchase with methoxyflurane and are an additional piece that can be fitted to the Penthrox inhaler. With that being said, the strong fruity odour will still be detected at very low levels, 0.13 to 0.19 parts per million. Regardless of the use of an AC chamber and regardless of the extremely low and safe levels in an enclosed environment. Each organisation has their own specific guidelines in order to minimise workplace risk of occupational exposure. It is essential you refer to your specific guidelines to understand the expectations of methoxyflurane use within your organisation. To summarise, if we adhere to the current guidelines for use, we can safely conclude that this is a very effective and safe option for analgesia in the pre-hospital environment.